John here guys and today we are talking about two and a half inch once again but this is a little bit different from the last one that I updated this is a build that I did do myself as my usual back to my old ways of building new drones on a daily or weekly basis uh, I couldn't stay away and of course um, this is sort of like a very similar drone to Spider-Man. Now, as we all know, Stan Lee passed away this week. You know, it reminds me of an issue of Spider-Man I did. Um, that was such a major, you know, influence in my life. I've been on comic books since I was such a little kid. I remember going dressed as Spider-Man uh, for Halloween when I was very young. Of course, even my dad grew up. Uh, collecting a lot of those original Marvel comics and so we would he would read them to me and so uh, it's been awesome now this is the spider-man uh, Marvel Legends figure from the original spider-man movie with Tobey Maguire which I still think to this day is one of the best versions of the suit although the new Tom Holland version is also very cool Godspeed spider-man <laughs> Uh, and Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so, uh, let's put that aside and talk about this two and a half inch version of the massive droner. Now, uh, we've done quite a few videos here about the three inch version, uh, but let's talk about the two and a half inch. Now, there are some really cool things about this build that are a little bit different from what we've done on the channel. Now, you uh, probably saw my review uh, very recently of the Mamba, uh, which is what was used in this stack. That's the new stack that just came out by Maytech. Uh, very, very cheap, 38 bucks. Now I am using the new Emacs RS2 version of the 1106 motors. Now this is the 4500 KB version. And I know what you're thinking, uh, John Wire is the KV so low? Well, that's because the cells on the battery are so high. That's right. I'm using 4S on this tiny build. Four cells for a whopping 14.8 volts. Whoa, and this is the battery pack that I'm using. It is the Pulse 650 milliamp. 4s pack that is 75c rated and it is nice and small in fact if you look at this china hobby line 650 milliamp 3s pack they're almost the same size they're almost identical in size and this is 4s versus 3s now weight they're very similar indeed i believe there's only a five gram difference here so for a nominal weight increase you are getting much higher voltage to your motors now of course you do have to run a lower kv um, to make up for that so that they don't burn to a crisp as soon as you power everything on and take off uh, but the power on this thing is quite remarkable indeed now um, I have been a connoisseur of micros for quite some time and uh, of course at this size I really really like uh, for a budget option for those of you that are looking the leader 120 but if you want the premium if you want the best of the best if you want something that is going to both amaze your friends and amaze yourself as you fly around your neighborhood safely around your house because this all the dry weight of this without a battery is under 100 grams that's right under a hundred grams it's right around 95 grams for this uh, that is with the strap with the antenna with the uh, power lines and capacitor um simply stupendous now let's go through the build very quickly uh, like i said the emax rs2 1106 4500 kb motors this is the red version of the monster micro because i wanted to match it perfectly with the emax motors this is the mamba stack that we talked about in the last video the akk fx3 that i've already reviewed xm plus receiver and the real acc budget antenna now i like this antenna because it is short it is very straight plug straight into the mcx and so you don't even need any other anchor points i've been running my three inch droner in the same exact fashion it gives you great reception 
and uh, it's very cheap. This is like a seven or eight dollar antenna. Uh, so I use that on my micros. I use the good stuff um, on the full size, which of course is the Lumineer Axie, but this works fine on these. Now, it's a tight build. Uh, it definitely is a tight build. Now, one thing I recently noticed or, or discovered thanks to Joe Mama uh, from the Houston group is that the side plates on both the more massive drone, which is the three inch and the two and a half inch are the same. They are the same side plates. So you're dealing with your camera case is exactly the same size if you've done the three inch version and the area that you have to fit your stack is exactly the same as well. Very interesting. So really it's the bottom plates that are different on here. Now this does come with the standard protective bar in the front. Uh, to protect against crashes. It does not standardly come with the rear protection bar, but you can add that. And I may do that. I think I actually have one sitting around somewhere that I'll probably throw on here. But uh, I can tell you guys, I have never run a 4S Micro. I've done uh, at two and a half inch anyway. I've done 2S, I've done a 3S uh, all day long. And I was really under the impression that mid KV, which is uh, right around 6,000 KV, uh, 3s was all you would ever need um, and it really is close to all you ever need but now I'm really thinking that maybe 3s is kind of a weird middle child it's very weird and in the middle much the same way that 5s is something that nobody cares about and nobody should ever use just because it's totally worthless you should either go down to the more lightweight and manageable 4s or for micro sake 2s or go up to the big dog yes the big dogs and run 4s 4s and this guys is just an it's a power that i did not think possible at this size i have to be honest with you I'm flying this up and down the street on Betaflight 3.5.2, which is the newest version. It felt so smooth. It felt so good. I did so little time tuning this, which usually on these micros, you really have to tune them very carefully because you can't be worried about your motors burning up. And if you don't have a good tune on them, traditionally, they can get quite, quite hot. But these stay so cold oh man it's like it is just so chilly in here uh, how cold these motors get now to be fair it is a little chilly uh in texas right now so i'm going to have to uh when it does warm up maybe be a little bit careful but i don't think uh it's going to be burning your fingers off so all i did was turn my d's down to i think five points each and that was it i pretty pretty much left stock beta flight uh, and I just adjusted my rates. I didn't even touch the filters. I mean, that's how good Betaflight's gotten for these micros now. It's outstanding. Very, very little prop wash and it goes straight as a rail and quite fast indeed. It can pop up in the air, that extra power. Now, um, 2S is still really good uh, on a build that's around the same weight if you have super high KV. Now the difference is really gonna be the type of difference that you get between 4S and 6S. It's just like it has a slightly extra gear when you're just kind of going in your low range and your middle range of the throttle, they're gonna feel very, very similar, right? Um, very similar, but when you punch that throttle, this thing just jumps up there so fast and it's so powerful that it really reminds you of those larger size quads and i just didn't think that this was going to be possible at this size at all so here is the three inch massive droner next to the two and a half inch uh, just so you guys can get an idea of the difference in size now as i mentioned before the two and a half inch on 1106 comes in at about 95 grams this three inch uh, more massive droner which is running the 1507 Brother Hobby Avenger motors comes in at 145 grams. So you have a difference of right around 50 grams between these two. Now they're both running 20 by 20 stacks. So the really the difference is in the bottom plate, which is much larger on the more massive droner. Um, you also have the, the front guard that's a little bit beefier. You have the rear guard, which has a little bit of weight. 
and then um, of course the motors themselves are much heavier you also on this one run full-size prop weight uh, nuts which probably adds a couple of grams so that's where that 50 gram weight difference is coming from um, let me see if I can get kind of really a good side by side right there just so you can get an idea now of course uh, this is still gonna be faster but I was very surprised at just how fast this was uh it's 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 much closer than i ever would have thought in fact it's almost like what you know since these can run the same cameras if you wanted to and this is the monster micro this is the falcor um but it really makes you think like what's going on here you know why why is this thing so fast uh i don't know but this is running Butterfly, so I'm gonna load up the same version of Beta, Butter, Beta Flight on each. Gonna be running back and forth um, runs on both to see which one really runs the best. But uh, very surprised, guys. I didn't think this kind of power was possible on two and a half inch. Um, now, this is a very similar setup to what Neil Merrick, who is the Catalyst Machine Works team pilot, uh, was running at Drone Wars. And I was very surprised. I didn't realize he was only running two and a half inch at that event. But now I see why and how awesome on Forest this thing is. Very, very maneuverable in tight spaces, even more so than this. But let's see if that evens out once I flash uh, Beta Flight on there. Now, on this more massive drone i would run an 850 pack this one the 650 seems to work just fine and i actually just putting around i was able to get five minutes you heard me right five full minutes of flying on this thing you know not punching it super hard but still like doing some big punch outs doing some dives in front of my house so that was very very impressive um on to the flight footage thanks guys